But one of the things I always talk about quickly is, is a typology that I use. The first starts with being what I call a racial equity learner. That's what people are doing today. They're learning. So part of a truth telling experience is, is first learning, being willing to learn. It doesn't matter if you're five or it doesn't matter if you're 50, being open to that process. The second is after you learn it, you then have to become what I call a racial equity advocate. Right, that, that moves beyond allyship because see, you can be an ally and be silent, right? It's a lot of men who are allies to women, but then when their friends crack a joke or someone does something inappropriately sexually, that's oftentimes illegal and criminal, they're silent about those things. They don't intervene. The same thing happens with race. And oftentimes it's white people who are silent about the race. It's they're sitting around at their own dinner tables with their own friends, their own family members, sitting around with their coworkers. And what they're doing at that point is they're silent about things that they know are wrong. Those are the moments that start to change things, particularly because you have young people who are listening to those conversations, trying to see if someone is going to speak up and speak out. So part of being a racial equity advocate is speaking up for people who are not sitting at a table um, who need to be represented. I, I learned this very, very well when I was spending time in Europe teaching at the University of Mannheim in Germany, and I would go to dinner with, with Germans and they would start talking about different parts of the city and different places not to go and what I shouldn't do. And I was like, I was just over there yesterday. Like what's, there's nothing wrong with the area. And I started realizing that they were talking about Turkish people. Why I shouldn't hang out with them? Why I shouldn't go around them? Why I should be scared of them? And I remember one way, one time on our way back to our flats, I was telling my wife, I said, I'm pretty sure that's how white people talk about black people in America. But you know what? Since we're black, we never hear it. But other white people do. And they oftentimes choose to be silent about it. And so part of the truth telling experience is being a racial equity advocate and then being a racial equity broker to really start to change the rules, regulations, policies, and procedures that are in place that maintain the inequality, that they recognize that it's not just about moving forward, but it's about addressing the past. And we all have a lot to learn, but only by being open to it can we properly go through the process.